I must say, I don't think you get it, that what we're talking about is a cataclysmic change. What we're talking about is the beginning of cyber warfare. I think in the back, deep, deep recesses of our minds, we, we kind of knew something bad could happen. But I think the way we defined it was not like this. I think that, you know, yes, it was a gross, grossly unethical experiment because you are playing with an entire country, the psychology of an entire country without their consent or awareness. And not only are you like playing with the psychology of, of an entire nation, you're playing with the psychology of an entire nation in the context of the dem democratic process. Mark, what happened? What went wrong? So this was a major breach of trust. And, and I'm really sorry that this happened. And I'm really sorry that this happened. Hi, my name is Andy Shimon, uh, and I'm an interaction design intern at Blend. For me, it's, it's just incredibly important to sort of think about each aspect of design and where it might be uh, maybe ethically in question, or if there's something I need to tweak to make it a useful resource, but not addictive or sort of dark in its intentions. So we can talk about, oh, Russia did this to us and we should be like getting back at them. It's like, we still haven't even fixed our own shit. Hello, my name is Sharnel McQueen. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. And I'm just like, okay, that's bullshit, it's a cop-out. And the reason why I say it's a cop-out, because what Mark Zuckerberg's intent was A, B, and C. It happened. So now he realized, oh, I can do Z, I can do Y, I can do all this and get more money. At the end of the day, all these social media platforms care about is capital. We live in a consumerist capitalist society. There, it's like, yeah, it's cool to like increase your diversity quota, talk about inclusion. But at the end of the day, they want clicks, they want more advertising, they want all these other things to make their social media platform the one that people want to go to. They don't really care. If I buy a Ford and it doesn't work well and I don't like it, I can buy a Chevy. If I'm upset with Facebook, What's the equivalent product that I can go sign up for? I used my Facebook to talk to one of my closest friends and we had a discussion um, between us two on what we would use instead of deleting it. Uh, I probably will delete it eventually, but for now I'm foolishly keeping it around. Um, I'm just, I'm constantly shocked by the ability of small design decisions to affect large swaths of the population. Um, at my school, we spend an incredible amount of time discussing ethical design choices, um, and our teachers are very aware that we're the next generation that um, will be making these changes, and we need to sort of understand these huge impacts that um, even like minute decisions can have, such as the like button or like nudges to get you to like change your behavior for something super small, um, stuff like that. Right? We curate our lives around this perceived sense of perfection because we get rewarded in these short-term signals, hearts, likes, thumbs up, and we conflate that with value and we conflate it with truth. I think moving forward as designers, we have a serious responsibility to the users of these platforms. And I think uh, making the design decisions um, is truly about them and not so much about a job or about the designer itself.